Hi, this is Matt Baker. Today, I'm going to show you the family tree of Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. Not only is he one of the highest paid and most well-liked actors in America right now, famous for his roles in the Fast and Furious and Jumanji franchises, he's also a former pro wrestler related to the famous Ano Ai family which surprisingly includes over 30 men and women who have gone on to become professional wrestlers. So, in other words, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has a pretty interesting family. Now, one of the first things that a lot of people wonder about The Rock is, what is his ethnicity? Well, basically, he's half black, half Pacific Islander. However, the black side of his family is not African American, but rather African Canadian and more specifically, African Nova Scotian, which I found quite interesting because I myself happen to be a Canadian who grew up in Nova Scotia. So let's start by looking at Dwayne Johnson's Black Nova Scotian roots. Dwayne's father, Rocky Johnson, who I'll be talking more about in a bit, was actually born Wade Douglas Bowles. So the surname of The Rock's male line is actually Bowles, not Johnson. It can be traced all the way back to a man named James Bowles, who was born in 1755. Now, you might have heard of a novel by Lawrence Hill called The Book of Negroes, which was also made into a miniseries. Well, that book and show is based loosely on a real Book of Negroes, which was a list of 3,000 black loyalists who fought on the British side of the American Revolutionary War and who afterwards were given safe passage to settle in Nova Scotia. Well, James Bowles, the great-great-great-great-grandfather of Dwayne Johnson, was one of the names written in the real Book of Negroes. He had joined the Black Company of Pioneers, which was an all-black regiment consisting of both escaped slaves and free men of color. In James Bowles' case, he had been born a free man, somewhere in the Carolinas. But near the end of the Revolutionary War, when it became clear that the British would lose, the black soldiers were evacuated to Nova Scotia, where they were given land. Now, we don't know whether or not James Bowles or the next three generations were as big and strong as The Rock is, but starting with The Rock's grandfather, James Henry Bowles, we do know that size and strength does run in the family. James Henry Bowles was reportedly 6 foot 7 inches, weighing in at around 270 pounds. And he supposedly once lifted a 500 pound church bell at a local fair, earning him the title the strongest man in Nova Scotia. Now before I move on, you might be wondering how you can find out interesting details like this about your own family. Well, thanks to today's sponsor, MyHeritage, it's a lot easier than you might think. All you have to do is sign up for a free trial and then enter the names of your parents and grandparents using their easy-to-use family tree maker. From there, MyHeritage will do the rest. Using their database of over 19 billion records, as well as the family trees of other users, MyHeritage will automatically provide you with discovery links allowing you to instantly grow your tree and learn lots of interesting facts about your ancestors. For example, using MyHeritage, I was able to find this census record from 1911 that lists The Rock's great-grandparents and indicates that they lived on this street and attended this church in Amherst, Nova Scotia. So if you'd like to learn the history of your own ancestors, MyHeritage is offering Useful Charts viewers a 14-day free trial followed by 50% off a premium membership. You can sign up right now by going to the link in the description or pinned comment. Let's now return to James Henry Bowles. He married Lillian Muriel Gay, the daughter of Isabel May Sickles. Isabel was in turn the great-granddaughter of Dembo Sickles, a man who started his life in Africa but ended it in Canada. According to Dembo, one day slave hunters raided his village in what is today Benin. He hid in a hollow log, but was eventually caught and pulled out with an iron hook, giving him a scar that remained with him for the rest of his life. He was then sold as an enslaved person in the colony of Rhode Island. However, during the American Revolution, 
his enslaver ended up moving to Prince Edward Island, where Dembo was, quote-unquote, set free, based on an agreement that he would work as an indentured servant for seven more years. This he did, and then afterwards he became a freeman and a farmer for the rest of his life. Let's now go back down to James and Lillian Bowles. They had two children, Wade and Mervyn. Wade initially became a boxer and trained alongside the greats, such as Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. Eventually, he changed his name to Rocky Johnson in order to honor two other former boxers, Rocky Marciano and Jack Johnson. But Rocky Johnson eventually switched from boxing to pro wrestling, where he and his tag team partner, Tony Atlas, became the first two black men to win a WWF championship. Rocky married twice. His first wife was Una Sparks, who was from a community in Nova Scotia very close to where I grew up. In fact, I went to school with some of her relatives. Together, they had two children, Curtis and Wanda, who are the half-siblings of The Rock. In fact, Curtis has sometimes been called Little Rock. In the early 70s, Rocky Johnson was paired with the famous Samoan wrestler Peter Maivia for a tag team match. This led to him meeting Peter's adopted daughter, Atta. They started a relationship, and pretty soon Atta was pregnant with Dwayne Johnson. A few years later, Rocky divorced Una and married Atta instead. By this point, the family lived in the U.S., so that's where Dwayne Johnson grew up, moving around from state to state quite frequently. Initially, it looked like he might get into football. During college, he was on the University of Miami's team when they won the NCAA title, and then later he was signed with the Calgary Stampeders. However, Calgary let him go, and at that point, Dwayne switched to pro wrestling, initially using the name Rocky Maivia but then eventually becoming known simply as The Rock. He went on to win eight WWE championships, before then switching his career path yet again, this time to acting, appearing first in the movie The Mummy Returns, and most recently playing the supervillain Black Adam. Dwayne's first wife was Danny Garcia. Together, they have one daughter, Simone, who in 2020 also became a pro wrestler, competing under the name Ava Rain. Dwayne and Danny split up in 2007, but they continue to be friends. In fact, Danny is now The Rock's manager. After his split with Danny, Dwayne started dating Lauren Hashian, the daughter of Sib Hashian, who was the drummer for the band Boston. Dwayne and Laura now have two daughters, aged five and eight, and the couple tied the knot in 2019. One other fact about the Rock's paternal side of the family was revealed just last year. A series of DNA tests have shown that he has five more previously unknown half-siblings, all of whom were fathered by Rocky Johnson, but sadly remained unacknowledged until after Rocky's death. One of these children, Lisa Purvis, is currently working on a documentary about how she discovered her half-siblings and helped bring them all together. So that takes care of Dwayne's black Canadian side of the family. Let's now look at his Pacific Islander side. Like I said, his mother was Atta Maivia, the adopted daughter of the famous Samoan wrestler Peter Maivia, better known as the High Chief. However, she was the biological daughter of the High Chief's second wife, Leah. It is through Leah that The Rock is related to his stunt double, Tenoai Reed. Reed is Leah's grandnephew, meaning that he and The Rock are second cousins. Now, even if you've never seen the movie Moana, you've probably seen images of this character from the movie, named Maui. He's mostly based on the Hawaiian mythological hero Maui, but physically his character was based on Peter Maivia. Maui and Maivia being linguistically the same word. And of course, the person who voices the character of Maui in that movie is Peter Maivia's grandson, Dwayne Johnson. But here's where things get quite interesting. You see, Peter Maivia took a solemn oath and became the blood brother of fellow Samoan Amituana'i Anoa'i, meaning that 
Although they were not actually biological brothers, they acted as if they were, and thus they are both considered to be part of the same family, known as the Anoa'i dynasty. On Amituana'i's side of the family, the first celebrities were Afa and Sika, who together formed the pro wrestling tag team known as the Wild Samoans. The Wild Samoans were known for behaving like savages and for never speaking. For example, during interviews, they only ever grunted. From there, the dynasty grew to include five sons, two nephews, one grandson, and one son-in-law. In fact, it is Sika's son, Liti, better known as Roman Reigns, who is the current WWE champion. But the dynasty gets even bigger because the wild Samoan's sister Vera married a man named Solafa Fatu, and together three of their sons became wrestlers as well. Rikishi Fatu partnered with his cousin Samu, and together they were known as the Samoan SWAT team, using the same gimmick that the wild Samoans had used. Larry Fatu was known as the Tonga Kid, and Eddie Fatu was known as Umaga. Under the name Jamal, Eddie was also a member of the tag team The Three Minute Warning, together with his cousin Matt, better known as Rosie. The Fatu side of the family has grown as well and now consists of a second generation, including Rikishi's sons Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sikoa, all of whom compete with their cousin Roman Reigns as the tag team The Bloodline. But we're not done yet. There's one more famous wrestling family that connects into the Anoa'i dynasty as well, the Snukas. You see, the famous Fijian wrestler Jimmy Snuka, also known as Superfly, married Sharon Georgie, who was niece to Amituana'a'i Anoa'i and Peter Mavia. In 2015, Jimmy was charged with murdering his girlfriend 30 years earlier. However, he died before the case could go to court. Two of his children went on to become wrestlers as well, Deuce and Tamina. Okay, so that was a look at the family tree of Dwayne Johnson as well as the Anoa'i wrestling dynasty, one of the strangest dynasties we've covered on this channel so far. Let me know in the comments if there's any other interesting people or families you'd like to see covered. Thanks for watching.